Watermelon, corn. You can have the next cut of watermelon to be like this, eh? Yeah. Watermelon. I thought it was like this. Yeah, this is a good time for cutari. See? Like this size? Yeah, this size. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot. Mm. Yeah, no, it's being really good. Mm. You can know that it's healthy when it's like this, see? When it's crawling. Here. Yeah. It's going to be producing a big watermelon. Mm -hmm. Looks good. So good. Wait for a swim. Spider! Spider! Okay, put this here. You can tell it's been I raining. Like the river's a little bit dirty. And I do like this. And I <clears throat> but I they're having fun. Look, look at that. Jump in the water. No. No. Flip, flip, flip. Flip. Oops. Like a boy. Oh, oh no. Nana, I, I, All right. Nana. It's coming. First fruit's coming. Yeah, baby. Here we go. Right, here's the little house that we made yesterday. It's out of the old roof from the old tail shed and the bamboo, whatever. Filling up a little bit. A couple loads on the horses. That's the purple ones off on this side here. And all these over here, looking good. There's an update. Oh, whose but horse did you ride? Uh, Pusses. Oh, Pusses horse? But and you went, where did you go? You went to the farm or what? Farm. Huh? Yes. Okay. Oh, well, but tell it's me, too me. bumpy. Oh, it's too bumpy. There's no saddle. It's a bare back. Yes, yeah, but but the horse is going fast. Yeah. yeah. And it hurts. Yeah. But you came back and you had fun at the farm. No. What did you see at the farm? It's ubi. Ubi. Yes, we found some ubi there. Oh, okay. Where did you put it? Hmm? Where did you put it? Oh. Got some there. Okay. Just cut that Thank you for getting the ubi. The liquor's getting the ubi. Oh, okay. We go inside? Yes. Go. Yes. Father, my Let's boy. Ever. What is this, Father, my boy? I don't know. Show me. Father, my boy. So, we're just planting those coconut trees that we brought home. Out in the rain, but whatever, we'll take it. Doing some beautification of our driveway to the village. Well guys, what do you think? Not so many. I mean, it's few, but lots of damage from the pigs. Lots of, you know, rotten ones from the hurricane, but it's coming. I'm done selling though. I've made up my mind, we're done selling. And we're going to uh, make the rest into cuttings so that we can replant them. So, we cleared another 
about two to three acres. So we're gonna put these in there, cut them up into little fine pieces, and then replant them in a couple of weeks. So that's the plan. Sometimes it's like delayed gratification. You want to sell them, get some money, but uh, the reward is bigger if you wait. If you can wait, you can't always wait, but in this case, I will wait. That's the update. Beautiful night here. Catch you guys tomorrow. Peace. This is our sandalwood germination bed made from a rotten wood that we got from the jungle. Um, but anyways, it's only been a few weeks, but look at this. One starting to come right there. Where's another one? Oh yeah, one's over here. Check that out. And then another one over here. Little guy. So they're starting to come. This is very, very exciting. Probably have about, uh, I'd say probably about a thousand or more in this little space. Probably like four feet by six feet, this bed. But let's go, boy. Then we gotta get them into our nursery, which is uh, super full right now. So we're gonna take some stuff out, plant it, and then make room so we can put more in. But good news, good news. All right, we're heading to the coast right now to go look at a secret piece of land that we may or may not do something with one day, but keep you posted. Let's go check it out. All right, we're out here, Tess making her way up. We're gonna go see what it looks like from way up there. Let's go take a look. All right, almost to the top of the rocks. What do you think about the view? Not bad. Put this one on the dream board, baby. Yep. So lots of mangroves down here. Not really interested in interrupting any of like what's going on naturally out here, but you know, picture a little walkway going through the mangroves and then like a little beach or something out there somewhere. Out there. So we'll see. There's a truck down there you can see. Way down there, there's the walker truck. What do you guys think? You wanna come on a holiday? Vanuelevo one day down in the comments let us know well I started off behind her but hey <laughs> so this is a gondola situation 100% down here that's the parking lot okay but you build some nice trees so you don't see the cars and whatever from there you have your first gondola post somewhere about there gondola comes up through here up through this kind of valley here one post down there one post up here and then maybe it ends up right behind me Right there. Yeah. And you have some villas scattered across here. Across down there. Yeah. Okay, so I made it up the mountain. I'm dying. John is a bit of a mountain goat. <laughs> he came in flip-flops and I came in uh, running shoes. So yeah, but we're here. It's okay. It looks nice. Ah, yeah, it's exactly. What? Why are you sleeping like this, Leaky? Yeah. Well, what do you guys think? Look at the farm. Amazing what these guys have done in just over a week's time. Five guys, probably two acres, more than two acres, maybe. There's Harley. What up, dog? Literally. Tired? 
Um, but yeah, looking really good. Okay, so you can see this big tree up behind me. Below the tree now is just Yangona. Above the tree is just Yam. So we got about another 600 planted up there and we'll probably plant another, oh, probably three to 5,000 in the field close to the road. So that's the plan. I've really got this new thing. I just, I'm coming for you, Fiji. This yam thing has got me on fire. So I think you see the biggest yam farmer in Vondolevo coming from this uh, small place here in Bambasinga. <laughs> Obviously not me, with the help of lots of people. I take no credit for the uh, success and, and the success with the growth and harvest and stuff like that. I'm just listening to people, but I guess that's what it is. You got to surround yourself with people who are better than you at what you're doing. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm also learning lots, but man, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Loving it. Also turned out really well because the it was raining, raining really hard. Um, and then kind of refreshed all the farm. Good time for planting. It's been nice and wet. And then, yeah, just... Uh, Yesterday and today start getting really sunny. So um, yeah, it's been really sunny, almost borderline on drought for a couple of months now without any rain. Then we had like a week straight, good, good rain. And now we're back to sunshine. So loving it. Um, feeling good about this all. So that's the update from the jungle farm. Friday afternoon, doing some house chores. Uh, Mom, this it's one... too many, Sava. It's too heavy. Hey, but look at my mouth. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Good. They're starting their pile over here. Good job. Leek, your turn. You can load me up. Sure, I'll load you up. Is that that one, boy? You can do it? Yes. You sure? Like what? Like this. Can you do it? Here. Boy. Huh? Okay, go. Vicky. Oh. One load for Vicky. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Akko. Like you want more? Hey, Are you want. strong? Hey. You feeling strong? <laughs> me too. Can you? Boy. Me too. Okay, <laughs> Some bimbi? Okay. Another round. All right, we're out here. Everybody's planting these coconuts that we brought home the other day. Even Luke is helping. Got all the boys out here. It's gonna look good. Got a nice little uh, assembly line going there. Some guys in front there with the knives. Can't see them, but. And then us over here with the shovels. Actually, won't take that long. Laco boy. Hey yo. Hey yo. Nah. Eva. Lengu. Half time, half time break. Oh. <laughs> e -e.
Not bad. Not bad. One more, please. Instructions. Bye. Two for one. Hey. Hey. How is it? Coffee break. Indian coffee break. Oh.